It's the juggernaut reporting live from where the weed get eaten alive. The only way to survive is to go beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. I'm going beast mode. I'm going beast mode. I'm going beast mode. Hey, what's going on, Babel Nation? It's on Babel back at it with another one. So this is the first time that's officially done. Beowulf Edition GP 1800R. And uh, yeah, it's time to let it rip. It's crazy. We've had like a category four hurricane off the coast. So we've had like crazy temperatures changing. I mean, I think right now, I don't even know what it is. I think it's at least 75. Which is crazy, the last couple days it's been nice out, but it's been super cold. I really didn't feel like putting a wetsuit on. And uh, yeah, it got a bunch of, a little late, because it's just been so swamped with stuff. Got a bunch of orders shipped out with the I Am Beowulf merch. If you can check that out, IamBeowulf.com. Check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. Man, it's good to be back out. I've been back for a couple of weeks. Oh, it has to be at least a month now, so I'm being in the Midwest. This is only my second time going out. It's been really, either it's raining all day or the temperatures drop. Well, good thing it's supposed to warm up, but it means it's gonna rain for the next couple of days. So I'm hoping to get a really, really early start tomorrow before it rains, maybe take the stand up out or take this thing out again. But I figured, hey, let's get out here. It's better to ride than no riding. And uh, we got the long, no wake zone. The other thing crazy too, the waters rise. And you can tell that it's higher up. Look at the markers. Usually you see it down at least like two, two, three feet where it's a where it's been up. So actually the water is pretty high. You can tell it coming out here that the water is a lot higher. That's the one downfall too. It's when you got this like flooding because I think there is an aerial flood advice we're going on right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's no debris in the water. I don't want to be getting stuck out here with something caught in the jump <laughs> right before dark. That would be that would not be cool. So it's just gonna be a quick rip letting this thing loose nothing far it's just gonna be full full adrenaline rush as soon as we hit out of the snow wake zone it seems like it's forever so it's like crazy this summer has been like crazy with riding we've had a lot of flooding going on and i had for like what over a month poison ivy that put, totally put the riding at a standstill with that and um traffic was crazy getting here too that's why i was like shocked usually the last couple days traffic's not that bad if you haven't checked out which have been up already for a couple weeks now. There's some videos on my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation, and it's a bunch of the car videos. Uh, I think there's a couple new Jeep SRT videos on there. There's a couple of the Crown Vic police car videos, uh, the P71 that I just picked up, and then there's a couple too where uh, I've taken uh, my uh, Willie, my Bull Terrier puppy, his first time going to the beach, and I've ragged my Doberman Pinscher puppy. So be into that. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. First, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to this channel, but also to check out my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you already have, I greatly appreciate it on both channels. But man, we're almost out of the snow wake zone. <laughs> we can let it rip before it gets dark. It's crazy. There was no chance of rain. And literally, like the last hour, the whole... Yeah, it's crazy. Look at this. It's like, it's not... Well, it's nearly dark but it's over really overcast. So you can feel the temperature dropping. So it's, and the nice thing is it looks pretty calm out here right now. So, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of people out, which is also a big plus. We're gonna do a quick rip, let this thing go loose. And actually the first time breaking in the seat, I, I installed the seat and I haven't ridden it since I installed it. So I'm excited with finally getting to use the seat that I just installed. And also too, sad thing, it is for sale. Uh, I'm going to be picking up my new 2021 Yamaha GP 1800R sooner than the Superjet because the Superjet's built in Japan. And uh, I got a call from Riva Motorsports that they're coming in the next couple of weeks. So by the time this video's up, I might already even have it. So I don't know. But hey, we're out of the no wake zone. Let's let it rip. Let's do it. Let's do it.
sun out. I don't wanna breathe, I just wanna pass out. Reaping what I sow, that's what I'm doing, cousin. Keeping to my own, not how I'm moving, cousin. Black emperor, open the cash register. Run the sales back to back to back peddlers. How can I help you? How can I shelf you? Dealt with wealth, please help yourself, boo. You hear the way I be rocking on the beat. I'm a rock star, boy, I rock it to sleep. I'm a leak from the seasons I spent on my job and I signed up. Yeah, I just saw that the guy and hey, down low, up top, I'm on my way to the bag at the bus stop, bus stop, some blow, some flop, I ain't got my shot yet, but I'm gon' pop, gon' pop, don't stop, keep going, I got this mantra in my head, it make me keep flowing, pour shots, keep pouring, it's no more rock game, I ain't got no release for it, hey. Oh man, got bug on the lens. There we go. Yeah, man. Woo! We barely, we got a little bit of a ride before it got dark. The reality is, is if it doesn't sell, I don't even know when uh, I'm gonna be getting the new GP 1800R, like in a couple of weeks. So if it's not sold by then, I'm gonna trade it in. But, cause the crazy thing is, so I thought I had to like, basically November is what I was thinking late October, early November. So I really haven't been hustling, trying to sell it. Cause I'm like, I want to get to work. And also I get a call like, oh yeah, your new GP is going to be coming in a couple of weeks. I'm like, whoa, now I got to start trying to sell this thing. <laughs> and it's sad. I don't want to sell it. Cause it's like, I really did this thing up. Look at this, look how sharp the seat is. Awesome. It's sad to say, to say, see you later, but and I put a lot of money into this, customizing it. Got the carbon fiber there, carbon fiber on the hood. It's a nice ski. Probably the thing I'm most excited about is getting a new one and totally customizing it where it's not like how it how it came. That's probably what I'm most excited about with the new uh, GP 1800R. But this night, this one's really nice, real dependable ski. I'd have to say, for a sit-down ski, I mean, this thing is as dependable as my old original Yamaha Wave Venture I had when I was a kid. And uh, really dependable, never had a single issue, always goes out and does what you want it to do. A lot more dependable than what my CDs were. Problems with the CDs from day one is always had, like, something would happen. It wouldn't be where it couldn't ride, but you, you feel loss of performance almost every time riding it. You, you always never knew what it was going to be like when you're out going to perform it. Maybe a lot of people never even noticed it. It was like sometimes top end speed wasn't always there or, you know, like something ha happened or like, I remember when I first modified my RXTX with a Riva stage one and nothing against Riva. It's there was stuff running wrong with the ski and it had it where like the, uh, intercooler got filled with oil and it was losing loss of performance 
and it's nothing with it. And what's the most stressful thing is you buy a bunch of parts, thinking you're gonna make it be a little faster, and it wasn't the parts that were the issue, it was the ski. I don't remember how frustrating that was, like the RXPX was faster than the RXTX when you have mods. And it was always like that from day one, and it just was real stressful. And uh, I feel owning a Yamaha and a Kawasaki is just, it goes out and does what it, it wants to do. The only thing is the Kawasaki had a bent steering cable, but it either had to been something from the previous owner doing something that caused that, which I got to fix it. The thing rides a lot better now. It rides totally different, so it's been an issue since I owned it, basically. You know, but I'm telling you, the brands, those are the go ones to go with. And if you like c go with c From my experience, invite hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that tell me stuff. c just has so many issues. And um, there's people that had them sync where they just had the first couple of hours on the machine. You look at some God's videos where people are comedy from like Australia where they sunk like as soon as they bought it first time riding it, I would be super pissed. And uh, c do owners, if that upsets you, I'm sorry, the truth hurts. And if I saw a bunch of stuff proving of the new Yamahas having issues, I definitely would, would talk about it. I'm not getting paid by Yamaha, so uh, my, all my stuff is honest. I'm not having any manufacturers paying me to be saying stuff. And I just, from my experience, Yamaha, Kawasaki your way to go so hope you guys enjoy the video we're getting it in here right before we get started if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers hit the bell notification get notified as soon as the video is uploaded check out my I am Beowulf merch at iambeowulf.com and the Amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash iambeowulf check it out the fire department's boat right there be driven to win, be safe out there, have fun riding. It doesn't matter what brand it is, as long as it puts a smile on your face riding it, it's all that matters at the end of the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation.